Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tiges Schooling. In this session of the video, we're actually going to talk about the pelvis. So in the pelvis, this is an introductory video in which we'll be talking about the false pelvis, true pelvis, the introduction, the pelvic outlet, inlet, and everything that is in the pelvic cavity and that comes with the introduction of the pelvis. So let's get started. So the pelvis, the function of the pelvis is actually to to transmit the weight of body from your vertebral column to the, to your femur. Here are your femurs, they carry on the weight. The bony pelvis is actually composed of the four bones. Your This bony pelvis is composed of four bones. The vertebral column which I have shown above here are not included in the pelvis. But except those vertebral column, everything that is in the picture is forming the pelvis. So the structure that the four bones actually form your pelvis. The four bones are your two hip bones. These two big structures, one is the right here and the other is right here. These two structures are your two hip bones. The third one is your sacrum. This is your sacrum. And the last one is your coccyx. Right? So the four bones form your bony pelvis. Remember these two hip bones, these two hip bones articulate with each other at the symphysis pubis right here in the front between these two bones between at this point they join together at the symphysis pubis over here the symphysis pubis is formed and posteriorly they join together with the sacrum right over here at the sacroiliac joint you can see right over here they join together with the sacroiliac joint between them so the further the pelvis is divided into two parts by the pelvic brim or you can say the pelvic inlet. They are divided into true pelvis and the false pelvis. The, the pelvic brim which is the, which divides the uh, both true and false pelvis is actually formed by which is formed by the sacral promontory promontory the iliopactyl line and the symphysis pubis the your pelvic brim which divides both of these structure they uh, the boundaries of this pelvic brim are the sacral promontory right over here you can see these big structures coming out from the sacrum these are your sacral promontory on the posterior side on the lateral side you got these lines these lines which I'm which I'm showing right here is which is called the iliopactinial line let me let me draw them let me draw them with a pen these lines is called the iliopactinial line so this this forms the side of the lateral side of your pelvic brim and in front over here you got the symphysis pubis all right. Now let's further and talk about the uh, which uh, this pelvic brim actually divides into false and true pelvis. Now let's talk about the false pelvis first. The false pelvis is actually the pelvis above the pelvic brim. So the false pelvis is actually formed posteriorly by your lumbar vertebra. You can see this lumbar vertebra forming your false pelvis. This is your lumbar vertebra on the posterior side. On the lateral side, you got this big iliac fossa. This big structure, which is called the iliac fossa. This big structure is your iliac fossa. On the again on this side, the iliac fossa from the lateral side. Posteriorly, you have got this one. Uh, we will call it the uh, lumbar vertebra. And anteriorly, and on again on the lateral side, we have another structure with the with the iliac fossa is the iliacus muscle. And anteriorly, we have at uh, the lower part of the abdominal wall. Over here, the lower part of the abdominal wall extends. So anteriorly, we have the lower part of the abdomen. And remember this false pelvis, during early stages of labor, it helps guide the fetus into true pelvis. Now let's further talk about the false pelvis. So in case of false pelvis, it has inlet, cavity and outlet. The pelvis inlet, which is the entrance to the pelvic cavity and the pelvic outlet, which is the going out from the pelvic cavity. First talk about the pelvic inlet or which is also called as pelvic brim. The pelvic inlet which is actually this area, this is pelvic inlet, let me draw it for you. This is pelvic inlet again and this pelvic inlet, this pelvic inlet 
This is the pelvic inlet I have shown you already. This pelvic inlet formed posteriorly by this big, this big promontory of the sacrum. This is these structures are called the sacrum promontory posteriorly. Laterally, they are formed. They are the pelvic uh, brim or pelvic inlet by formed by the sacroiliac uh, iliopectineal line. This is right here over the iliopectineal line. And anteriorly, we have got the symphysis pubis. Right over here, we have got the symphysis pubis, which is joining to two hip bones anteriorly. So this is forming the pelvic inlet and now talk about the pelvic outlet so pelvic outlet is a little bit down out here let me draw and let me show you if we, if, we, if we move the diagram upward we can see the pelvic outlet pelvic outlet means getting out of the pelvis so the pelvic outlet is formed by the coccyx posteriorly coccyx posteriorly laterally we got the ischial tuberosities on the both side and Anteriorly, we got the uh, we got the pubic arc. What is pubic arc? This arc, which is being formed right here on the anterior side below the pubic symphysis, this arc is called the pubic arc. This arc, kind of arc structure, so that's why we call the pubic arc, and it forms the anterior of the pelvic outlet. Remember this one: the pelvic outlet has three notches. If you talk about the pelvic outlet, this is structure, big structure. Remember, it has three notches. The first main notch is the pubic arc, the biggest arc oh, right here, this biggest arc anteriorly and on lateral we got two sciatic notches. Right over here we got two sciatic notches laterally. The sciatic notches are further divided by the sacrotuberous and sacrospinous ligament into greater sciatic, greater sciatic foramen and the lesser sciatic foramen. Let me, let me draw it for you. I have covered up it all right over here, right, okay. We got right over here. This is the sacrospinous ligament. You can see this basic structure, sacrospinous ligament on this side. Again, on the other side, we got the sacrospinous ligament. If I add up another connective tissue to it, we get another structure. Let me, let me put it onwards. And right over here, we got the sacro tuberous ligament. We have the sacrospinous ligament, the sacrotuberous ligament converting these sciatic notches into greater sciatic foramen and the lesser sciatic foramen. Now further the last structure which is remaining which is called the pelvic inlet. The pelvic inlet is pelvic cavity sorry the pelvic cavity actually lies between the inlet and the outlet of your uh, of your pelvic cavity. So the which lies between your inlet and outlet, it is short curved canal with shallow anteriorly, shallow anteriorly and wall and much deeper posterior wall. If you, if I see it on the side from, on, if I see it on the, if I see, we see it laterally, we see that it is posteriorly, let me put it backward, we see that posteriorly it is wider but anteriorly it is not that much because you can see it's very shallow right here but it, in the, if you go see posteriorly it is very much wider and has got it is much deeper to it. That's it regarding the introduction of the uh, pelvis. In the next lecture we'll be talking about all the bones that are in the pelvis. We talk about the sacrum, pelvic girdle, hip bone, coccyx, uh, pelvic floor, perineum and everything that is related to the pelvis. We'll see you in the next video. Keep visiting Tiger Schooling.